Hey friends, everyone knows about Microsoft's phone link app, but recently Intel has launched a new app with the name Intel Unison. So this app is uh, Intel's answer to Microsoft's phone link and we obviously wish to compare between these. Uh, but before starting this video, I'll let you know that I find this Unison app way better. So you need to download it and install it on your phone and on your computer. You can download and install it from the Microsoft Store. All you need to do is search for Unison and download it. And since it is downloaded from the Microsoft Store, it's completely safe. Now, here's a fact about uh, this phone link app that it's not available for Apple phones or iPhones, but it is. It is already uh, showing on their website, on the Apple Store. So yes, you can. And that makes them almost equal. So you can use this both on Android and on iPhones. However, when you try to connect, all you need to do for connecting is to download the app, give permissions and keep, uh, keep uh, clicking on allow for this app, uh, the Unison app, and then you'll get an option to scan a QR code. So click on add your phone. Now click on scan QR code on the Unison app on your computer and simply hold it over near the QR code and it will uh, give you a code to verify. You don't need to type anything. You just have to check that the codes are same like it's MCNFVPVV. So click on confirm and it will connect to your phone. And the second it connects to your phone, you will notice that it has picked up all media from your phone and has connected pretty quick. In case of the phone link app, the difference is that you need to be logged into your Microsoft account. Now this makes the process safer, but this also makes the process more cumbersome. And when it makes it cumbersome, then people kind of get repelled to it. Uh, I personally believe for home use, Intel Unison's uh, safety features are sufficient. I mean, you're using a QR code from your phone. That seems to be sufficient. But if it is not, then... Uh, you can use this app as well but here's one thing you have to be connected to the same network you know why it wasn't connecting because i was connected to the 5g network and my phone was connected to the normal network and we need to be on the same network for this so now uh, when i change the network the pairing is successful you don't face this issue with the phone link app on your uh, computer that is because it permits you to use different networks and then you can obviously access messages, you can call, you can transfer files, everything. But the uh, interface is very easy to use. Now with the phone link app interface, you actually have to uh, locate everything. You will have to try to find each and every option. And this is what makes it a little more difficult. So in, uh, in today's world, I mean, uh, in the present technology era where people are used to apps, Everyone wants to uh, seek the easiest way out. And unless you are working for a company where security measures are very, very strict, like you have to log into your Microsoft account for it, unless you're working with that company, uh, this Unison app will obviously prove to be a better alternative. Then there are a few people who have uh, also brought a, a few questions that what about uh, this thing? the uh, connectivity issues i mean what about the downtime and all so uh here's the thing i never found any downtime with either of these apps unison was working well phone link works well the issue is not with the downtime it is just that uh, the phone link app is way more complicated and the, uh, it also is seems like an invasion to privacy why because they start co uh, collecting information the second you connect to it with Intel Unison, I don't think that they will be collecting information, not in the way Microsoft does. But they, uh, but Microsoft will collect your information anyway. And even if you're using a Google Android phone, Google will be collecting your information. So data is never secure. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel. And if not, then let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could help you further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.